What do Americans need to know that people around the world think we should? I'm not sure I, I can answer that question safely. Answer it. We're not safe here. I had this I discussion about the relaunch of our podcast. I'm like, we're going anywhere. Perfect. Okay. So funny story. I was at the rodeo last weekend. Totally recommend it for everybody. What are you doing? <laughs> Someone <laughs> invited us and I was like, rodeo? What the? Hey, you remember you didn't go to Montana, right? That's right. <laughs> You're in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you doing? It was rodeo? amazing. <laughs> it was the the most. Okay, for you said it's amazing. What would you go to that's not amazing? You're such an oh. optimistic, positive guy. What would not be amazing? Oh, um, a NASCAR race. <laughs> NASCAR might not be amazing. <laughs> But a rodeo is? Oh, man. Oh, okay. They it didn't have great. rodeos in England. No. Okay, no. all right. So you go to the rodeo. So it was legit. There was 60, 60 young men who were going to ride on random bulls and get knocked over and hey, just so you know, down. I think we created rodeos, so this isn't something the world says we need to know. I hope you're uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, but you can say you went to the rodeo. Okay. So this guy, before they start, I mean, this is brilliant. He's wearing this bright red shirt. He's got a 10-gallon. Everyone had big hats and boots and buckles and denim everything was denim it was it's a rodeo it have was, you not seen yellowstone and no. like you know like john wayne from back in the day oh, and yeah spaghetti westerns clint eastwood yeah okay true okay so, they so have, it's, it, those are I, cowboys right yeah, the, yeah and this was ah, oh, it was okay. just gold the whole thing spurs was gold. Yeah, the spurs on oh i didn't see spurs i'm gonna take some when i go back next weekend <laughs> so anyway the guy says he says uh I, i'll try his accent for you you can let me know how it goes and he says now, boys and girls, I'm going to tell you something. He says, this photographer over here, he's been all over the world. And I mean all over the world. And he tells me everywhere he goes in the world. And I mean all over the world. Everywhere he goes, people say, where are you from? And he says, I'm from America. And they fall on their knees and wash his feet. And everyone cheered and clapped. And I thought... That's the craziest, <laughs> brilliant. It's just amazing. That was incredible. But that he did. He was straight faced. He truly. This guy, I think, believes that all over the world, people are meeting Americans, going, "My God," and falling on their, on their feet, on their knees, and just washing, just grabbing water and washing people's feet. And I thought that's amazing. He clearly does believe that. And um, and. One thing that's really amazing for me about America and Americans is this incredible self-belief. There's like this, there's a reason that we start so many businesses here, right? Um, we truly, truly believe we're the best. This is the best. Obviously, it's the best. Anywhere I go in the world, people will fall out of their cars when they see me to wash my feet. Um, You're saying that's not the way it is. Well, it might not be how it is. <laughs> So but, when, when I asked the question, what came to oh, your that mind? Is that, is that it? Is it? No, that was just a funny story. So um, that's it. So basically, the world doesn't kiss our ass the way we think they do. Oh, that wasn't where I was going necessarily. That might be true as well. Okay. Yeah. I, I think so. America is so interesting, isn't it? I was sharing with our team today because we've got a couple guys who are kind of rising up in, in leadership in our, in our small organization. And um, I said, guys, one thing to be aware of. You know how sometimes I step in and, I'm, and I, I say... Hey, this is good, guys, but not so good. And there's a little bit of a James is an arsehole when I leave the room. I know it happens. It has to happen. And they're like, yeah, it does. And, uh, and you, you've got a bit of an up yours that happens. And I'm like, that's okay. This is about to happen to you. When you're a leader, you have a target on your back. And you have to get used to that. And if you don't want a target on your back, don't be a leader. And that's what America's got. America's the leader. And they've got a target on their back. Everyone else, and, and people love America, right? All over the world. There's people who love America everywhere. But you've also got this bit. When I watch the Olympics, I hope America comes second or fourth. <laughs> Every time. <'Cause>, Why, James? Because <laughs> we always come first. And I, I'm like, oh, let's, let's see Pakistan get a swimming medal. That would be amazing. I would like to see Sierra Leone win the bobsled, right? You're like, oh, that would be so great for their little country. Oh, this is awesome. I hope America come fourth. Why do you hope that? I think because I just expect, I'll say us, I expect us to win anyway. We don't need it. And, and so I, I think intrinsically, perhaps, maybe I have a, 
I'm looking at the target on America's back. Again, I've chosen to live here where my kids are American. I love it here. But, um, but maybe there's something in me that's like, oh, screw it. We don't need to win anymore. We won. We're the biggest. We're the richest. We've got, I don't think we have the most freedom, but we say we do. Um, Who has more freedom? Oh, it's a good question. Um, well, it's, it would throw us into a political bent. I don't care. We can handle it. Okay. So I think there's elements of every, everywhere I've, I've been, I'm like, wow, that's, that's probably better. You, you guys are probably doing, the, doing this much better than, than we're doing this at home. Or, and, and in America, hey, there's things here that we're doing better. So one of the funny things, when we came here, and um, we have a, a nice house, and we'd like to be able to sell it for what it's worth for later through Pivot, obviously. Of course. And, um, there's no other choice. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, um, so, you know, we're going to get some work done to it. We want to put an egress in, whatever, blah, blah. Well, we're going to get a permit for it. The funny thing is, in England, I wouldn't have to get a permit for it because it's my house. And what the hell do you think you're doing coming into my house? The government's not allowed in my personal property. That's a funny freedom to come here to the land of the free and realize I have to pay to let you in my house and for you to grant me permission to do work in my own building or put a fence up or not. That's weird. That doesn't seem like the freedom we we're all talking about. Um, so th- there's kind of funny things like that. You think, but... But then, hey, in England, there's there's problems. 